Yo guys, Trevin F here. Welcome back to another Let's Play of Let's Play Over the Hedge. Today we are doing one more part of the um, part where we have to get all the food for the wagon. And I, I don't think this is the same mission as the last one. So maybe they are different and I just got very unlucky with RJ that the uh, missions were the same. So I have a lot of cool things to talk about in this video and uh, hopefully you guys like these uh, conversations I'm about to have with you guys as well. There's been actually some pretty cool things happening lately. Uh, I've been working with another YouTube creator on some videos, but they will not be on my channel. I've been working with Attacking Toucans on a Versus video. And it will not be on my channel. It will be on another channel called Versus. Once that channel, once that video is uploaded to the channel, I will link that into the description below. And I will like, um, I'll put that link in the description below. So if you guys want to check out Versus, you can. And then when the video is up, I will make a video about that as well. Is this log gonna fit? If it, it looks like a wall. Okay, it looks like it just fit. This is crazy. I hate these spiky thorn things. Grab it, RJ, my god. This game is so, like, touchy with, like, trying to grab stuff. Um, but yeah, I've been working with, uh, Tyler on some videos for the Versus channel. And, uh, I had an idea that I'm not gonna talk to you guys about yet, because I want you guys to watch it once the video is live. But, it was really cool how we made this idea come to play. And, uh, we really think you guys will like it. We, uh, we put a lot of thought behind it and we wanted to put in action so we did and uh tyler's editing it right now so i'm actually pretty excited to see how it all turns out in the end he showed me a snippet of it the other day and i thought it was really funny and it turned out really awesome too if anyone on my channel has ever watched versus before it kind of feels like that old versus like feeling it has like that niche to it i guess but in a newer style, if that makes sense. It's like bringing back old memories, but making it newer. That's basically what I'm trying to say here. Uh, words. Um, also at work, um, I know who wants to talk about work in a YouTube video, but, um, basically, I'm gonna be hopefully working more overtime soon, so I can get a little bit more extra money, because I want to try to upgrade my PC. My PC is pretty good, but I think it could be better. Oh my god, it's the sisters. They're twins. Ah. Like these kids, they have they're like hair free. I'm trying to like there's so many more there's more people. Okay. You see nothing. It's fine. All right, all right. Ah I'm trying to remember what happens when you get caught. I'm trying not to get caught. I'm trying not to get hit by these kids either. Purple candy. My candy, yeah. I wonder what the candy tastes like. Like, is it like grape and blue raspberry Tootsie Rolls? Like, what are they? And of course, I immediately get bomb by bombarded by a cat. Where are the dogs? Where are the dogs? I wonder if these, like, were mistakes putting them there. These, like, little tracks, because... I feel like there should be dogs there, and there's not. Okay. Ooh, a lot of candy. That one had a purple one in it. Ah, oh, it's a dog! Sorry, dog. Actually, no, I'm not. You don't have candy inside of you. What kind of pinata are you, anyway? These cats are more of a pinata. Not dissing anyone that likes cats, because I own a cat. She is very, very lovely. It's funny, years ago, I used to be so scared of cats because my dad and stepmom had a cat. And I don't know if she was just, like, having a bad attitude or whatever. Like, this cat was just not having it with anyone. But she bit me a long time ago, but when I was, like, out at 11 or 12. And ever since then, I was just like, I do not want a cat anymore. Like, I will, n I will never like cats. Cats are terrible animals and blah, blah, blah. But... We got two different cats when I was younger, and they and one of them was like kind of not like scared of everything, but just wasn't too big of a fan of people. If that makes sense. So basically, at that time, I was like, "Screw cats! I don't want them." But these cats were really cool, and I appreciate them. And now I got a cat, so I like cats. <laughs> 
I can't dis on I can't dis on anyone that has cats anymore because cats are really funny animals. My dog and my cat actually don't like necessarily hate each other. Cause my cat just doesn't like dogs, and considering that she's only ten months old, it kinda makes sense. My dog doesn't mind her though. Oh my my dog is completely cool with her. It's just my cat that has a problem with her. <laughs> don't touch me, don't touch me. Okay. Man, we made it. I think there's one more part to this house left. But yeah, my cat's 10 months old and my dog is 7 years old, so it's pretty crazy that, like... They get along somewhat decently, like, they'll, like, look at each other, sniff each other, sometimes hang around each other. But they won't, like, always hang out with each other. I think that's just because that's more of my cat's preference. My dog just wants to get to know her and my cat's just not wanting to have it. Which I guess makes sense, I think. Uh, maybe. Okay, so they're like, okay, so I gotta get this layup. <laughs> gotta move, gotta move, gotta move. Since God. art. <laughs> no! Kid! Dude, why are you not watching your kids? Got it. That is such an irresponsible parent. Got it. Got it. <laughs> not that I would know what being a parent's like, but I know when, it, when, it, when people are being irresponsible. Gotta get on my candy. Funny enough, I actually don't eat candy very much because not because like I'm worried that it's gonna rot on my teeth, but more more or less it's because I just don't. I never care for sweets that much. Like when I eat a piece of cake, I get very sick, like after just one little piece. And if I eat any more, then I just feel like death for the rest of the day. I do like sweets. I just don't eat a lot of it. That's the only problem I have. Right, where's my grand total? Hi, Matt. Hi, Matt. I'm very much at 500. Is that really all the candy I have is 500? I thought I had more. All right, so. Yeah. Oh, we're still down a cupcake. Are you kidding me? All right. Well, I'm not. I, I don't want you guys to have to watch me do all this part. So I'm just going to do this one more time and then just cut back to the next mission. <laughs> All right, great work, everyone. We collected all the cookies, pizza, and cupcakes we needed to. Barely. Or did you forget that there were a couple of times we almost died back there? I did die a few times back there. And that's why I need you for our next mission, Ozzy. Another mission? Yep, now we need to steal a cooler to fill with even more food. So what do you need me to do? Meet me by the house across the street from the human named Gladys, and I'll explain there. All right. So, we have 500 candy total. So, I think... Do I need to get, like, a wallet or something? To get, like, a bigger amount? I'm trying to remember. Because I can't get any of these, because I can only carry 500. Let's try to get, like, small stuff first. Let's get a lamp. I have the power to control night and day. <clears throat> okay. I need a good bath. Yes, I have always wanted a heated bed. This tornado machine is so cool. Boomerangs are so much fun. Now I can carry up to 5,000 candies. That's what I needed. RJ health upgrade. And I think that's all I can get. I can get his golf ball attack, but I think we might need Vern's spin attack. Hopefully the spin attack doesn't make Vern sick. So I think that's all I can get. Because I think everything else is pretty expensive. <clears throat> yeah, okay. So let's go to the next mission. Chapter 4, Vern Tag Villainy. Alright, so we start with RJ. Okay, time to go meet Ozzy by the house with the cooler. All right. So this is... I forget what exactly we have to do when we play as Ozzy. And this looks like a lot of obstacles, which requires a lot of brain work, which I do not have. But we'll make it work. I still like playing as RJ way better than I like playing as Vern. Hammy's obviously the fastest out of everyone, but you never like play as Hammy when it comes to playing like these types of obstacles. You only play as RJ and Vern. Vern's just stronger, but RJ is just faster. I hate playing as Vern. I really do. 
And I don't care who keeps telling me that I'm wrong. It's my opinion. And in 2023, your opinion cannot be wrong. I don't care what anyone says. Alright, so we're gonna push this back as well. There's no- oh, there's candy here. Okay. So yeah, now we can carry up to 2,000 candy, which is good. Because we need to get RJ and Vern's, um... Running. Their stamina to be infinite. Because I'm tired of my health running out constantly. Why are there so many thorns? i never seen the thorns in the movies. And I bought the movie the other day because I wanted to reminisce my childhood. <clears throat> okay, is there any candy here? Yeah, there is. Sweet. Always check all the areas for candies, because if you don't... Yeah. You should. You should check all the areas for the candies. Um... The thing is, they have, like, such a big open field here, so you could, like, miss anything. Which is what I'm noticing. That's a lot of rocks. <clears throat> Alright, since that they're animals, are they boulders? Because I'm pretty sure humans, those would be, like, rocks, right? That makes sense to me. Yeah. I'm gonna assume that for them it's boulders, but for us it's rocks. So if a giant saw, like, us carrying a boulder, would it be a rock to them? These are the questions that I think nobody's ever asked before. And if they are asked before, why are they not a trending question? I'm trying to think, like, why do we need to move all of this? Is there anything, like, is there, like, a specific reason why we need to move all this? I mean, is it worth it for that one piece of candy? I think so. The more candy we collect, the better off we'll be. So, I don't need to necessarily move this, but I'm going to. It beats having to run back around, because I might as well just do this. If I was RJ and I had to, like, do this constantly, I feel like I'd be, like, so tired. I'd be like, I need to take a little break. Okay, so there's nothing over here, it looks like. We got 81 candy here. Unless there's more than I missed. I feel like I missed some. I feel like I missed the orange tree. Shouldn't it be an orange tree? So, so I feel like I missed it. Oh, there it is. All right, luckily it won't be the same thing as the last time, so we're in the last episode as well. So we can actually do more now. I think we go straight to the dogs. Ozzy should be waiting for me at the opening to this backyard fence. Give me your candy. You are the pinata. Oh, oh you bitch, all right. I am not. I am not dealing with you right now. Come here, dog. Give me your candy. 20? Oh, cool. That haven't been So we're not going inside the house this time. Can you go away? Okay, so I think we got all the candy that we could from here as well. Which, if you, if you really want to collect more candy, just go back to mission three and do all that to get more candy. <clears throat> all right. I think we play as Ozzy now? You made it, great. So what's the plan? Yeah, RJ, what's this brilliant plan of yours? Ozzy, I need you to sneak by all these humans to the cooler, okay? Then I want you to play dead to distract the humans while we steal the cooler. The timing has to be perfect, so move quick. Brilliant. Well then, here I go. Okay, so I can't run. This sucks, actually. They have the, they have them, it's like, whoa. Yeah, nobody would ever think to, like, kick a dead possum out of the way or pick it up and throw it away. They would just leave it. Huh? I hate that I can't run. I feel like I'm going so slow. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this. <laughs> that was a bad... That would have been... That would have been so bad. I mean, I'm making it. But I don't have much time. I don't know how much further I gotta go. Okay, I made it. Okay, here I am, shut time. I'm so I completely forgot we play as Ozzy. Please wait. Ah, I'm hit. Lime's growing cold. Must move toward the light. Goodbye, cruel world. It was fun. Whoa, that animal's dying. Hey, everyone, come here. Great job, Ozzy. We got the cooler. Now, get out of there. You were a great audience. We'll see you later. 
he was still alive, the animal tricked us. That's exactly why I hired this guy. Never fear. Dwayne Verm the Dwayne the Verm Tech Master is here to take care of your animal problems. Oh no, this guy can't be good. I have to go warn the others. Animal traps have been placed into all of your backyards. I would advise against risking your lives by going back there anymore. Oh, we gotta go back to the dog area. Wait a minute, something's different about the backyard. All the scary pets have been replaced by scary firm tech traps. Oh, I forgot this was a thing. Oh god. I was so bad at this. And we're playing as Vern! Oh no. Can I, can I, okay, I can get by. How do I get the candy? Okay. Oh. Oh god. This is bad. This is bad. I gotta make sure. I think I got all the candy. That sucks. It's been all replaced by traps, so I can't. I can't get candy from traps. I thought I could sneak through. That was way too dangerous. If we keep this up, someone's really going to get hurt. Two hundred candy. All right. Thanks to Ozzy, we now have a cooler. Yay! Yay! Wait. So, um, what does that mean? It means we can now go steal soup cans, hot dogs, and potato chips to fill with. I don't know if you've noticed, but there are a lot more dangerous verm tech traps out there now. Verm tech? Jeepers, what's that? That's nothing to worry about, folks. Just don't walk into any spikes and you'll be fine. What, RJ? Okay, everyone, get back out there and collect more food to fill the cooler. Thanks for the safety tip, bird. <sighs> Alright, so we gotta collect more food! Damn! I don't wanna... Ah! Oh. Some of those animal traps seem kind of dangerous, aren't they? Relax, waxhead. It'll be okay. I never heard him say that in the movie. Just go through the next log and collect enough soup cans, hot dogs, and potato chips. What's Hammy got to say? When are we going to start collecting nuts, Vern? I don't know, Hammy. I don't know. All right, guys. I think that's going to be it for this episode. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And as always, I've been Trevor Neff, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Hey, Sly, hurry up, no time to waste. Rebecca Black sitting on my face. They say that I'm always acting like a bitch. Take your clothes off, baby, suck this bitch.